Yeah, basement bedroom is done. Uh, I got my smart lights in the ceiling because I had no switch down here. So I can actually do this. I had this uh, upstairs, it used to be in my bedroom. But I can actually change the color of the light. Uh, go to more of a white light. Go into the yellow lights, the blue lights. Easy for morning, easy for night. One's good for reading. Um, all the plugs are live. They're all wired in. It's just a smart plug. I cased out the window. Uh, it's all good. Flooring is all down and in. It looks good. Closet door. Looks like the wood expanded up top on my casing. So I actually have to come in and probably uh, file out the door just a little bit. I can feel it moved. You can see where it's kind of cracked here, but it's it's just this little upper lip here. That'll take me two seconds. Uh, lights on in the closet. I just need uh, some organization shelf and a hanger and stuff. Other than that, doors in. Everything works good down here. Uh, it gets super hot. Um, done. Uh, it's just a grill from upstairs. We were painting because it was getting old and rusty. Uh, we got all the tile. All this down here is going to end up being tiled in. Bathroom's going to go back here. Uh, the laundry stuff will eventually move. There's a window back there I don't need. It's kind of underneath the alcove in the front room. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, so the dryer can go into that corner and vent out there. And then we're going to put a plastic tub in where the big cement guy is now because that's clogged and no good. Washer will go in there. Uh, does it? Uh, my sister got a new kitchen too. She paid someone to do hers though, so I got her old kitchen island that I'll use to put the sink in. I did case the window behind it. Uh, my cabinets here, here, but all the doors are back ordered. So I'm waiting for all the side panels uh, in the doors. They are self-closing runs. My fridge turned out to be an inch wider than the opening that we accounted for because my sister gave me her old one. Luckily, I have just enough room to get this cabinet in. Uh, and then I gotta pick out some tile for a backsplash. Uh, that's the bathroom door there, I think. And then behind it is the side cabinet for the back of this and the countertop. <clears throat> and that'll go in here. And then at the end of that, where the double doors are, will be at the end. Uh, sink will go in that across from the oven. And then the island will come out this way. But yeah, uh, these are cool. Above the fridge, that useless cupboard that mostly no one uses, but they're actually side-loaded. So you come in from the side. I'm sure it'll end up with Tupperware, just like everywhere else. Over here is gonna be uh, mostly coffee stubs. All my mugs, my little espresso machine, my Keurig, my kettle, uh, all my tea, coffee, will end up up there and in through keep all my stuff together. Uh, I need some basic stuff done on the casing. The end part there needs to be uh, needs to be painted off. I need a little trim up and inside. Other than that, uh, we haven't done much in here. I painted this off. We got a paint in there white. We just painted the door that was downstairs. This little closet won't hold much more than maybe a hanging coat, the dog's leashes or whatnot. Uh, we painted this guy out. You'll notice it kind of looks yellow. It always kind of looks yellow. We don't know. We put like four coats on it and it keeps coming up that way. Uh, painted the door in there. Uh, all the ceiling and everything done in here. The flooring we were coming out. <clears throat> uh, this room's like 99% done. Uh, you know, lights in. Uh, I just put in the baseboards today. I've been flooring the last two days. Uh, I just actually put the cord around all the way except for this little part here. Uh, that piece is cut for the vent. I did that today. It's MDF though, so we just painted where I had to cut and it sucked the right in. I had to let it dry and uh, I'll put it back. So once it goes, and then I have this weird, where the, the plaster was, it came rolling into this. So I didn't have a harsh corner. So we ended up flushing it off, which I have a piece of trim that fits perfectly into there, except down there it opens up. So I'm gonna have to run the baseboard and running it so that it ends flush into here. It comes right across rather than kind of end off like down there. Uh, but it creates a hole that the little trim won't fill. So we're gonna have to get some putty or something and smooth the top. 
figure that out. Uh, I'll do that tomorrow. That shouldn't take too long. And then actually that same little trim that's in the corner there, I gotta go through just for these little gaps and I'll end up running them around the window uh, so you don't see the little holes and stuff. Since nothing was square in here, it was kind of tough. I didn't want to spend hours custom cutting everything to make it fit. Uh, I painted that block today. This guy's an old guy too. Uh, painted that block uh, just to match this one because it looked okay with the colors if you have a look. So yeah, I cased all those windows out. I did that last weekend. And uh, that other one that's painted downstairs, this is gonna be the bathroom in here, but that's that hole down there. That's the cold air return. So we gotta build a wall. We had trouble with the flooring. I was hoping to come right out, but all the cut arounds to get in here, had we a thought before we put the drywall in, especially since it's over top of it, we should have pulled, should have pulled the door casings. It just kind of sucks because they've been here for a while and you got, I mean, I guess it's easy enough to rebuild. You can actually buy the stuff kind of pre-done, but uh, so what I ended up doing was cutting it. I have a, a wood grain looking uh, transition piece. And what I'll do is, cause the doorway, you're better to run with like your walking kind of way or come into this room and, and the TV and stuff will be over there. Uh, I'll reverse flow and try and come in and match the floor from this side. So even off the transition piece, the pieces kind of will come over and it'll look uh, symmetrical still. And then I might do it again here, just so my pieces aren't running this way, but running the opposite way uh, when you come back in. And I mean, that piece is here too. It looks good. Uh, you know, it looks nice on the floor with the colors and the white and stuff. So even though it's probably vinyl, but uh, it's, if you've never seen it, it's just got like a little T and it's the same size. So the floor comes in on one side and then locks on the other. And then I'll just pin that down uh, with a finish nailer probably. So yeah, that's done in the last couple of weeks, which is good because I've been laid off work for almost a month. Um, but it's not like I haven't been busy. Uh, and I got lucky with these floors too. I finally figured out the floor I like, I picked it out. And then they told me it was back ordered and wouldn't be able to get it. And just as I was struggling to come up with something else, uh, the guy at the factory phoned the guy I was doing with at the counter and said he just found two skids. So uh, I got lucky and ended up getting my flooring in, which saved me a big headache. So that's where I'm at now. Next step will be to tomorrow I'll finish this room off completely. Uh, which won't really be anything noticeable other than this little guy down here. Uh, and then uh, we we have to build two walls into here, one for plumbing against this wall, but eventually we're gonna need to build a wall off this studding uh, across so we can put a doorway in when we tear out all these stairs to build the bathroom into there. So we'll put the stud kind of in place where that wall is gonna be and at least I know where I can floor to and I can start flooring my way out to the front door. Uh, it's, if you see that last little bit down there, uh, the floor, because it's under your walls, just dip. So I'll have to trim that door up because the floor won't go underneath it, but a couple runs with a hand plane will take care of that momentarily. It'll probably take me five minutes uh, to actually do a 20-minute job taking the door down putting it back up. But that'll be done this weekend. I'll be super happy when I get the flooring done in here and, and I can get the uh the island put in and once the island's in we can start putting the kitchen together plumbing it because we got to run the sink right in the middle so we'll have to hold down and go and uh all oh, that dryer vent i was saying was uh this portion's actually like in this outcove my my actual uh house ends at that line uh that's where the foundation is uh this is all standing a couple feet above the ground and the window that's in that back corner is actually right below here. Um, so yeah, I can vent my dryer vent out on this side. Uh, these windows are pretty cool too. Cleaning them from the outside, they're the new style ones, so you can lift them up. And there's two tabs on the top, uh, and this whole thing will actually close in towards you so you can clean the outside of them, which is important because the road just out there is super busy. 
kicks up lots of dust and salt and stuff in winter time so I can do all the same on this uh, this room's probably 90% done for stuff I'm doing I have a cabinet guy doing that stuff so once he's done and we get some stuff put in I can backsplash I can finish this guy when I have the room the casing on that one do I mean and trim the door but we need this this side's temporary everything up until that upper cabinet is where it's gonna be uh, it's just this this uh, tall wall for the fridge is temporary and the basement of this is temporary until we get the fridge in and, and move this over it's a uh, quarter quarter of an inch we'll just have to space or sorry probably three quarters each side put a spacer on each side of those walls and we'll be done then I can case it this door and uh, do some paint touch up since I got little white stuff uh, everywhere on the walls from doing all the stuff in here and I can finish this off.